creating a minimal CS HTML website on Amazon Web Services Elastic Cloud 2 Windows Server 2012. There will be problems along the way and in this video I'll show you how to resolve them. So if these are the steps I'm going to do but to start, to start I'm going to create a default AWS CC2 Windows Server 2012 and show you how that's done. Now this is the Amazon Web Services console. Let's go to Compute EC2 launch instance Windows Server 2012 base uh, select that I'm going to use the free version next configure details the defaults are good uh, I need 30 gigabytes defaults are good I'm going to call it uh, test next I need to uh, add a rule for HTTP AD launch I need to create a new pair I will need this uh, to get the password when I remote desktop to the new server I'm going to call it Sean was here and that's download there we go now I will look at that later just prepare the folder now anyway let's launch the instance Okay, so this will take a minute. So I will proceed on to the next step, and that is to create a simple website using Visual Studio 2015 Community, in my case. New project, ASP.NET Web Application. 4.5.2 template, empty project, nothing selected. This is it. Now I'm going to create a, a new item. I'm going to call it default.cshtml. Okay. There it is. Now if I was to view this, it won't work, and I'll show you. Okay, f forbidden. That's okay because I don't have a default document set. And especially hasn't been set to a CS HTML page either. Now it also says this type of page is not served. To resolve that problem, we open up the new get package manager package manager console and uh, install Microsoft ASP.NET oh, web pages here we go and that sets up the razor CS HTML dependencies now if I was to run my website It finds the default document, which is default CSHTML. Now let's just print something very simple so that we can see that it works. There we go, there's a little bit of CSHTML script there. We create a date time and we print it in the HTML. So now if I just press play, There it is. Now the next step is to install it on the remote server and resolve the problems there. Now to connect to the server, I need to press the connect button here, download a remote desktop file. Let's just open it, connect. Now I don't know the password, so I need to get the password from here. Now browse to my Sean was here PM that I created a second ago and downloaded a second ago. There it 
here it is decrypt password and there it is don't worry I will be deleting this instance after this video is over let's go back to RDP okay connect Here we are now this is a default install so it doesn't have iis installed let's add roles and features next 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 web server add features next we need dotnet 4.5 features we also need ASP.NET 4.5. Next, next, we need application development. We need 4.5, ASP.NET 4.5, add features. And that's it, install. Installation finished close let's open IIS and just test default website and just br browse to it yep and it works let's stop it okay now we're gonna copy the files from my development to a new folder And run that there so this is my local copy and I'm going to paste it on the server okay this is quite a lot of files uh, there anyway let's create a new website we'll call it test physical path is the new website I just created everything is good okay yes now let's browse and there we go that's working and now to see if this works remotely let's get the IP address from my Amazon console open and open a new browser window paste and there we go that's that was creating a minimal CSHTML website on an Amazon Web Services Elastic Cloud 2 Windows Server 2012 thanks for watching please subscribe